Hey folks! Iron here with the third planet. During this video, we will be discussing a recent article speaking of the imminent eruption of Yellowstone. Kick back, relax, and let's jump into it. So, roughly one week ago, the leader in breaking scientific news, the Sunday Express, released a warning to the American people. This warning claims that our favorite supervolcano, Yellowstone, is on the verge of erupting. This was based off a series of recent YouTube videos published by our friend Kat Martin. According to their article, YouTuber Kat Martin has been uploading videos of the Yellowstone geysers for well over a year, and says that the geysers are now erupting more frequently and stronger than anything she has witnessed in the past. In the latest video that she uploaded, powerful plumes of steam can be seen coming from the geysers. A sign she says that the deadly volcano could be about to blow. Wait one minute. I thought the beast expelled steam all the time. It most certainly does. In fact, these very large and violent hydrothermal explosions are independent of associated volcanism. None of the large hydrothermal events of the past 16,000 years has been followed by an eruption of magma. The deeper magma system appears to be unaffected even by spectacular steam explosions and crater excavations within the overlying hydrothermal system. Anyways, the description under the Yellowstone supervolcano video reads, I caught this awesome footage of the left and back geysers erupting with very high plumes and with way more frequency. She adds that there have been small earthquake swarms as well and some high CO2 readings recently. The YouTuber goes on to say that I definitely see these eruptions getting stronger than usual. The article goes on to state that according to Earthquake Track, there have been 11 earthquakes in Wyoming, where the majority of Yellowstone National Park is, with a magnitude greater than 1.5 on the Richter scale, showing that the area is seismically active. Hold on. I thought Yellowstone and surrounding locations experience earthquakes all the time. You are right about that. In fact, earthquake storms and ground elevation changes are almost everyday occurrences at Yellowstone. Each year, 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes occur within the Yellowstone volcano region, averaging at about 1,600. Although most are too small to be felt less than a magnitude 3.0, these quakes show the active nature of the Yellowstone area, one of the most seismically active areas in the United States. Some might think such events near a volcano would signal an impending eruption, but in Yellowstone, it seems to be business as usual. A reliable news source called, before its news, wrote that watching that footage definitely got my attention. They added, and it is interesting to note that just a few weeks ago, the Shoshone River changed color and started boiling without any warning whatsoever. Stop right there, now that is actually pretty interesting. What is that about? Is that not a sign that things about to become explosive? Well, not really. In fact, you're more likely to erupt than Yellowstone, the reason being, Cook vents are nothing new along the Shoshone River below Buffalo Bill Dam, which is located about 4 miles west of Cody. In fact, the Shoshone River was known as Stinking Water or Stinking River in the 1800s. Over the ages, most of those hydrothermal features have subsided, although geyser cones, hot springs, sinkholes, a sulfur-permeated spring, and an abandoned sulfur mine and mill still stand testament to the area's more active past were kind of in a low compared to when the area was first explored. There was substantially more geothermal activity that was occurring back then. Anyways, what is arguably the world's most famous supervolcano is overdue an eruption, and it could wreak havoc on America and potentially even the whole world. There's no doubt about that. While the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming is stunningly beautiful, with brightly colored sulfuric hot springs and erupting geysers, it packs a mighty punch. This too, is known. Nothing new here. The Yellowstone Caldera supervolcano last erupted 70,000 years ago, but a recent unexpected spike in seismic activity around the globe has unsettled nerves. If the volcano were to erupt, it could cause global catastrophe, particularly in the United States, where it would instantly kill 87,000 people and make two-thirds of the country immediately uninhabitable as the large spew of ash into the atmosphere would block out sunlight and directly affect life beneath it. The massive eruption would be a staggering 2,000 times as powerful as the one from Washington's Mount St. Helens in 1980 which killed 57 people and deposited ash in 11 different states and 5 Canadian provinces. 
Additionally, a climate shift would ensue as the volcano would spew massive amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, which can form a sulfur aerosol that reflects and absorbs sunlight. In closing, I would like to state, that I have talked with Kent Martin in the past and she is a very intelligent and personable individual. I have no idea what she has or hasn't said in regards to this article. I haven't a clue what her theories are on Yellowstone. I have nothing but respect for her in the videos that she's uploaded. We've actually talked to a park employee, and this is what they had to say. As a scientist and park ranger, I have to say that the steam production via our geysers is normal and far more noticeable in the winter. To put it simply, Old Faithful isn't erupting, it's the steaming in Wyoming during winter, during cold temperatures. The process is called sublimation. The act of water going from boiling to freezing in seconds. Secondly, earthquakes happen every day at Yellowstone and have been since records have been taken. It's got to be a harmonic tremor for it to mean magma is moving. The area has flowing channels of water and gases that causes the minor earthquakes. So, there you go. That's our quick rundown and review of so-called Yellowstone news. If you agree or disagree, please post below. I would like to hear from you. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video. Stay safe. Have a great day.